Diving to the bottom of the ocean is uh, really a Jules Vernean experience. There's no way that you can really understand the bottom of the ocean if you haven't been there. Have a great day. A resource like the Alvin Submersible allows us to go down to the seafloor and get a really up close view of what's going on. And these are complex environments, so being able to see the different physical and chemical and biological interactions uh, that we couldn't otherwise see with other sensing systems allows us to do a quite a bit of science that otherwise wouldn't be possible. It's a conduit for imagination, so to speak. Alvin is easily the most famous submersible in the world, but it's earned that because it's been a workhorse for many years, and the new Alvin was designed to continue in that tradition. We finished the complete build in 2012, and that includes the interior that we see here, the placement of all the equipment, even the seating is, is brand new and, and designed to enhance the observer's uh, experience underwater. I've seen an enormous uh, uh, both improvement and an explosion in the technical capability and capacity of Alvin to carry out uh, science. And, and that science not only for geologists like myself, but for chemists and biologists and geneticists and microbiologists. Alvin now has the ability to run all sorts of advanced geochemical sensors uh, and other tools that allow us to make really precise measurements on the seafloor. You need physical samples from the ocean floor, whether it's a rock or some sediment or some bacteria or a tube worm. Uh, you, need to, you need to bring that back to a lab where you can study it in detail and, and ask the questions you need to ask. And Alvin is you know, one of the premier tools for, for providing that. You can go down and see an environment with your own eyes recorded on the latest HD and 4K cameras. Fire up your latest and greatest sensor and collect that data. Now you have the video record and the geochemical record and the other data as well. The Alvin team, they're great. They're very knowledgeable, they're personable. They understand the human element of what it's like to physically go down there, what it's like to be a first time diver. And, and then they also really value the scientific outcome and they're very good at making suggestions to the scientists. The three vehicles in the National Deep Submergence Facility are provided to the entire community, supported by the National Science Foundation to get us access to the deep sea. Many of the questions that we're asking about the oceans, the health of the oceans, how they're formed, how they're changing, uh, you need a, a presence there. You can't. You can't do it from afar, you need to be there. This vehicle, Alvin, all these vehicles really are your tools. They're not static systems, they're evolving all the time. Young scientists have the uh, great opportunity to direct the evolution of these vehicles going into the future, whether it's new sensors, new sampling methods, new operations, you know, of using vehicles at the same time should make the most of these tools because they're exceptional scientific facilities that allow us to access the deep sea.